All right, we're talking with Mark Wahlberg, the star of The Italian Job. And I've got to tell you, I have never seen you seem to have as good a time in a movie as you did in this. I've never had even half this amount of fun. It showed. I mean, yeah. you just look relaxed. You look like you were having a great time. I didn't know if that was just the character, or, but it was just a, it seems to be a natural thing. It was. Um, Gary uh, Gray, who the director of the film, had a very specific take on the character, and I had never played up the likability, you know, I always kind of, I've played likable characters before, but it just so happened to be written that way or perceived that way by the audience. But I had to kind of concentrate on playing a little bit more. He actually he asked me, he said, I mean, or some of the direction he would give me was just bring a little more Mark. Because whenever, you know, as long as I'm not motion sickness, which I got a lot because of the little cars, I was happy and I was always having fun and, you know, what a great group of people. So yeah, it was just, you know, play it up a little and, bit. And, you know, you see a movie like that and, and sometimes there's four out of the five that click, or three out of the five that click, or whatever. This one, everybody clicked. Yeah, it was magic. Yeah, whoever yeah. did the casting on that was really knew what they were doing. Yeah, you know, you gotta be careful too, because you can easily get sucked into thinking that this is the norm, but it's not, you know? So I'm not, I, I should not expect this my next But I gotta year. tell you, Mark, you got a movie that's got a lot of action, got a lot of humor, a lot more humor than I expected. Mm -hmm. Where was the romance? You get Charlize Theron. Did you ever even kiss her in that movie? Uh, I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. I figured it may have got cut out or something. No, but. no. I mean, you know, we may do a sequel, so I mean, you gotta have somewhere oh, else to go. Oh, the Italian job part two. Oh no, it'll be it'll be the Brazilian job. Oh, with her on the beach and a thong. Okay, promises right there. And me rubbing oil all over. <laughs> oh, make up. <laughs> there was definitely a chemistry there, though. Yes. Well, we've worked together before, um, but uh, it was it was a much kind of different dynamic as far as the relationship was concerned. And we didn't really get to explore the chemistry that we have between us, and we we got to do that in this. Well, I, I really did see this association because you just did The Trouble with Charlie. You're starring opposite Charlie's Theron, who could be Charlie. Your character's name is Charlie. What is this thing? Coincidence. <laughs> Just coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. And I hear you're going to be the next Indiana Jones in the next one. Uh, possibly. It's not Indiana Jones, but uh, yeah, you know I we mean, have our, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the uh, the Adventures of Wyatt McHenry. What movie do people talk to you the most about, though, in your career? You think Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights and Fear. Yes, Fear. Well, in my neighborhood, there's no other movie but Fear. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm going to interview Mark Wahlberg. Oh. That movie, Fear, it was so good in that movie, yeah, Fear. Yeah. And I thought, well, that was just a little movie that, you know, didn't attract that much attention, but it must be video or whatever, but it has yeah, it certainly, itself. Yeah, it certainly, you know, found a life. Alive, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's so funny, too, because a lot of, uh, they, made, they started making a lot of movies like that after the teen, teen horror films and stuff like that. But uh, that was probably one of my most fun roles to play. I personally always root for the villain. I don't think a, a, a movie really works without a great villain. But uh, I haven't gotten to play that kind of part since. No, that was kind of a unique part for you. Well, I think once I played that part, people got freaked out. I mean, you know, they thought that that's <laughs> you did who it too I was. Good, yeah. So we immediately, that's when we jumped over to Boogie Nights, which is, you know, a guy who was much more vulnerable and likable and sympathetic. And, uh, and then I was that guy. So, you know, we're trying to convince people that I could play a little edgy, but... Uh, Another, gotta get a screen was test. Was it Big Hit that you did? A big Hit, yes. Yeah, people people talk about that one still, yeah. too. I was interviewing Lou Diamond Phillips for some a new video pack he's got coming out, and he was talking about what a good time. Yeah, had we, had a, we had fun making that movie. Yeah, so you've, you've had your... But I wasn't as well-behaved when I made that movie, so... As with this movie, we had a lot of fun, but I don't ever remember showing up on the set of this movie being hungover. And Big Hit, we were in Toronto, there was a lot of, a lot of beer drinking going on. A lot day. of wild times. Yeah, um, no more of that. Do you have a career plan... Or is this just, you're yeah. just getting there one movie at a time? Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm kind of, you know, taking it one movie at a time. But, you know, I, I don't want to work really hard for the next nine years. Um, and hopefully, you know, direct a film or two myself. Oh. What about musicals? I mean, you've got a musical background. Here, all of a sudden, musicals are the big thing. If Richard Gere did it, why not? <laughs> you know? But uh, no, you could have played that part. But I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not looking to do a musical. That's for sure. But if a great director called and was like, "Mark, I want you to make a movie," and you guys, the last sing. thing I want to hear. Well, I don't want to hear sci-fi, and I don't want to hear a musical. But you know, if the right guy calls, you can't say no. All right, you and Donnie both are. Your careers are going good. Are y'all establishing like the Wahlberg dynasty here? And 
They all mm -hmm. well, that's, to your that's not the plan, but uh, you know, we've both been doing well. But we're the great thing about it is we're both just trying to do really good work. You know? And you're both succeeding. Yeah, we're both you know comfortable, so we don't have to do anything for the money. So uh, you know, to try to do things that you know quality of work is a uh, it's a good thing. It's a great way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, I wish you a lot of luck with this. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking the time oh, to talk to us today. I appreciate it. Great. Nice to talk to you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm.